In the 21st century, getting from point A to point B remains a leading cause of death for Americans. On public roadways, most automobile accidents are associated with human error. In addition, one of the greatest threats facing our soldiers overseas are improvised explosives deployed against military vehicles. In 2006, Southwest Research Institute undertook an internal research and development program to develop an unmanned ground vehicle. The initial focus was on a commercial vehicle platform that was demonstrated in New York City in November 2008 at the ITS World Congress. After the World Congress, the implementation was moved to a military vehicle and was subsequently demonstrated at robotics rodeos in Fort Benning and Fort Hood. Our initial unmanned ground vehicle that we developed was based on a Ford Explorer that had a significant amount of hardware in it and it was very expensive. As we've migrated to our military platforms, we have focused on reducing both the size and the power and the cost elements of our hardware. The military UGV program has the potential to remove the soldier from harm's way in a number of combat situations. But what about decreasing the dangers of driving on domestic roads? At Southwest Research Institute, we understand that deploying unmanned ground vehicles on the public roadway may be many years away. What we've found in our development efforts is a number of side technologies and a number of side capabilities have arisen because of our unmanned ground vehicle program that are applicable to the development of active safety systems and cooperative vehicle systems. So in addition to the unmanned ground vehicle program, Southwest Research Institute is, is working on the connected vehicle program which is being run by the United States Department of Transportation. In the connected vehicle program, vehicles are instrumented so that they can communicate with other vehicles as well as communicate to the infrastructure. An excellent example of using this technology is if you have two vehicles that are equipped with this and one of them slams their brakes on, the vehicle behind them can get an instantaneous message that an emergency braking procedure has been initiated and the driver can be told to take evasive action. Whether it's active safety systems or completely autonomous ground vehicles, Southwest Research is on the vanguard of developing the next generation of potentially life-saving intelligent vehicle systems.